Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tea and Story. Though today our story is a little different than most stories. See, this book is actually a maze. So, I thought maybe we could get lost in this maze together. This is another book from my childhood. I remember spending hours and hours um, trying to figure out how to get back out of the maze. Um, me and a friend of mine would try and put our heads together and figure it out, but alas, as children, we uh, couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it was, this was a long time ago, so I honestly don't remember how much of it went, except that I just remember it was kind of fun, kind of creepy, and uh, definitely very interesting. So that's our book, our story, and our tea. I'm just keeping it simple with the tea today. We're just gonna have a little bit of mint, herbal tea. And uh, this little glass mug I have. So let me get the water started. start in on our maze here. So, like I said, this maze is... This book is... Whatever, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> uh, so it's basically a puzzle that we have to try and solve. You have to try and make your way into the maze, and then back out. So you can see this book is by Christopher Manson. This also has really, um, really interesting illustrations too. Okay, so the directions say, this is not really a book. This is a building in the shape of a book. A maze. Each numbered page depicts a room in the maze. The doors in each room lead to other rooms. For example, the room on page 1 has doors leading to rooms 20, 26, 41, and 21. To go through door number 20, simply turn to page 20. Your challenge is to find out, to find your way from room 1 to room 45 and then back to room 1 using the shortest possible path. If you use your head, you should be able to make the journey in only 16 steps. There are any number of clues in the drawings and in the story to help you choose the right door in each room. Clues in a series of rooms may relate to one another and may indicate a path. Other clues may refer to a specific door in a single room. Anything in this book might be a clue. Not all clues are necessarily trustworthy. Once you've found the shortest path in and out of the maze, challenge yourself further. Go back and find the riddle hidden in room 45. 
the answer to that riddle is concealed somewhere on the shortest path. Now proceed to the prologue, and your guide awaits you. All right. So there's clues, but we can't always trust the clues. Okay, so the text for each room is on the page over here. And I'm just going to let you guys look at the illustrations while I read. So here we are at the entrance to the maze. Prologue, the maze. I met them at the gate, though I usually wait inside. Preoccupied with their own thoughts, impatient, like so many children, they didn't see who I really was. They never noticed my crown, my pain, the fire in my eyes. Like all the others, they think the maze was made for them. Actually, it is the other way around. They think I am some poet who will lead them through the symbols and spaces of the underworld, of this underworld, they think I will teach them lessons. They should call me Cerebrus. I am the lesson. The monstrous walls rise up and run away as far as the human eye can see. Circling and dividing. Which half is the maze? Even I get lost. It changes, sometimes slowly imperceptibly, sometimes suddenly. This house is not only made of stone and mortar, wood and paint, it is made of time and mystery, hope and fear. Construction never stops. I take some pride in my role as the architect. They think I will guide them to the center, Perhaps I will. The sun was very hot. Together we walked through the gate into the entrance hall of the maze. Okay, so here's our first room, room number one. As we can see, and let me just pour my tea. I hear the water is ready. not to pour any of this on to the book. Okay, so I will just let that steep over here. entrance hall. They looked carefully at the bronze doors, trying to choose. The uncertainty of visitors is one of my little pleasures. It's easy to get lost, I say helpfully. This can be a sinister place. The sun glared at me through the gateway. Something was ringing behind one of the doors. They spent some time trying to decide which door it was, not understanding that the silences of the maze 
are just as eloquent as the sounds. Decision, decisions, decisions, one of them said. Too many decisions. Story of my life, said another one. We don't want to be late, said a third one, opening one of the doors. Nary a soul to be seen, said the first, peering into the gloom. I waited patiently for them to choose which way to go. So, I generally like to work from left to right, just to help me keep track of, uh, you know, where we're going. So, in this picture, uh, there's so, there's so many things to look at, right? Like, so, there's some words above each door, there's some pictures on each door. There's a bunch of random symbols here, I have no idea. Paper on a giant clipboard, easel. There's some paper poking up under this door. That's a little... That definitely seems like it's a hint. I don't know if it's a... helpful hint or a deceiving hint. That... I don't know. So here it says story, fable, tale, and yarn. Hmm... So the tour guide slash architect said it's easy to get lost. This can be a sinister place. Hmm. So someone here said the story of my life. I mean, that was just one of the people, I suppose, but maybe that's another hint. Story? Drums? The sun glared at me through the gateway. So that means the tour guide is standing somewhere in the sunlight. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go with my first instinct, which is to work from left to right. Because, <laughs> um... Someone's, I don't know, wait, let me think about this. Someone said story. There's some paper poking up line 21. The sunlight shining on both of these doors. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Okay, we'll go with story 20. Here we go. So this is room 20. Room number 20. The ringing stopped as soon as we entered. What is the matter now? I asked them. Too many animals for a proper house. They walked carefully around the edges of the room. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like there's just one animal in here. I don't see. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. They walked carefully around the edges of the room. I watched in amusement and shared, I think, by the wise old tortoise. Oh, wait. Sorry, I read that wrong. I watched in... I watched with an amusement shared, I think, by the wise old tortoise. With backward looks and muttered comments about turtles, they left room number 20 and entered... dot dot dot. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should write down the rooms I go through. Maybe you guys can keep track. I'll let you guys keep track <laughs> of which rooms we've gone through. So that if we get lost or whatever, we can, like, figure our way out. So this number's covered. That's really weird. Which means I literally am not able to walk through that door because I don't know what the number is. That's really strange. 
Oh, I really want to know what's behind that door, though. <laughs> okay, a tortoise. So we have five, twenty-seven, and one. There's a castle poster and a castle figure on this chair. There's some sort of arrow picture back here. There's a phone. There's some magazines with the letter S on it. They say extra S. Extra S. I have no idea. Hmm. I don't see any like obvious clues as to what to go through, so um let's just do number five. We'll turn back to page five. You know, still working left to right. Okay. I'm trying not to look at the pages that I'm not supposed to look at. <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, interesting. I rather like this room. The tree room. Are these real? They asked. I told them the trees were as real as anything else in the house. As this was an important decision, I encouraged them to take their time. After all, the more they think about the possibilities, the more choices they have to make. What were their chances of choosing wisely? One in four? Two in four, perhaps? If I was generous about it. And why not be generous? There are 190 doors in this part of the house, counting the gate. Enough for everyone. Making a choice, they entered a very long, dark corridor, and at last came out into... dot dot dot. Okay. Uh... So... It was saying there's a gate or something? I don't know what they're talking about. I only see four doors. Fourth width? So this says fourth width? Fourth right? Fourth word? Fourth blank? Huh. I have no idea what that would be. <laughs> okay, there's a little flower over here. These trees are really pretty, even though someone's cut a lot of their branches off. Uh, this poem is really something. Fourth something. Fourth sight? I don't know. Oh, that'd be foresight, wouldn't it? <laughs> fourth right. Fourth with. Fourth right. Fourth word. Fourth blank. Fourth, fourth door. That would be back to room 20. So that's, is that where we came from? Didn't we come from, see now I lost track already. We came from room 20, yeah. We came from room 20. So that would just take us back to where we were. Ah, oh. all right, let's go with 43. I don't see, again, no real obvious clues about where to go. They're all very riddled. Okay, 43. So it came out into room. Forty-three. And there's a creepy person standing over here, holding a sign. Yourself. 38 is down here. 22. Peak yourself part. Peak part yourself. Part yourself peak. I don't know how that would Hmm. This 
is getting creepy. <laughs> a great hall dominated by the entrance to room 22. The face over the door had a sly look. Is it good or bad to have only two choices, they wanted to know. It was, predictably enough, neither good nor bad. These people just didn't know how to, how to phrase a meaningful question. How to phrase a meaningful question. You have to be very particular in this house. Okay. Phrase a meaningful question. Is it good or bad to have only two choices? Maybe the way they asked the question was not phrased. I'm like, do we have to rearrange the question? It only gives you two options. Oh, I get it. That's the joke. Is it good or bad to have only two choices in order to answer that question? You have to either say good or bad, which is the question itself is only giving you two choices. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I don't know if that really gives us any clues. 22? 22. I guess let's just go with 22. I'm inclined to just say let's do 22. Okay. Oh, hi, May. Hello. May says hi, everybody. Gosh. Really? I wish I had a spot for you to hang out with us. Okay, so we're going back to room 22. Okay, I'm trying not to look at these pages. Woman's jewelry. So you have to read this backwards. Woman's jewelry. H plus double O. I have no idea what that would be. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now we're in room 22. A gaudy room that reminded me of a theatrical backdrop. Places like this are overdone for my taste, but some people like the exotic. Well, everyone's a critic. It's true, I am by nature extremely critical. Although my life is a lonely one, and I have not spared any of my guests the rigor of my judgment. We all have our roles to play. This is not a bad place, really. You could spend quite some time here. Perhaps, in their resistive way, the group moved on. And then that's when we decide what, what room to go in. Okay. Tail. Pitchfork. Scale. Scale. Tail. Impale? I don't know. <laughs> woman's jewelry. Is there a woman's jewelry that rhymes with tail and scale? Earring, necklace, bracelet, pendant, brooch. No. I can't think of anything. No, I can't think of anything. I have no idea what that would be. Um, if any of you notice any clues or solve any of the riddles like this, like, seriously, let me know, because, <laughs> um, 
is like this is confusing it's interesting uh okay so it looks like again we only have two options hmm 43 and 38. In a lot of these rooms, you can't really go back through the door you just came from. Right? Like, we just came from room... whatever. We can't go back to it. I don't know what room that was, but... 45 or something? I don't remember. <laughs> See, I forget already. Okay, well... I d again, I don't know... H plus... O -O? O -O. Is that 8? Hate? But it's not 8. Two, s two O's? O's? Rings. Hmm. All right, we'll just keep going through the left door. So forty three. We did go back to the one we were just in. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Obviously, I forgot we went through this one. Hmm. Maybe let's go back through 22 and go through whatever the other door. Wait, the other door was 38, wasn't it? Let's see here. What was it? 22. Okay, 22. Yeah, 38, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I have to end up going to 38, so it doesn't really matter if I just keep going back and forth between these rooms. So 38. Alright. So, a narrow space where one wall boasted half-finished carvings, and another some carnival poster. There was a little confusion as we made our entrance, but we soon sorted ourselves out. It was impossible to climb up the slippery slide, and another door wouldn't open for us, so after emptying the pebbles from our shoes, we decided what to walk through. Okay. Oh, it's very rubbly in here. So they said they tried to climb up this slide, and it wasn't happening. Are these guns? That definitely looks like some kind of gun. I don't know what that is. Let's see, monkey see. Monkey see, monkey do. I don't know how that. So we already know what these rooms are. We've already been to these rooms. 22 and 43. I think 22 still had some options for us to see, but... I kind of want to go through here. Again, I don't really see... A carnival poster, half-finished carvings, and a slippery slide. And this is the one that wouldn't open up. Hmm. If there's like clues in here, I must be completely missing them because I don't see any like obvious ones. Okay, let's just do 40 because we've already been to both of these rooms. That's just going to take us back to here, or 22 anyway. 
So these just are all going to loop together, so 40 is really our only way to continue on. I hope, I hope we don't end up stuck somewhere. <laughs> so we march on to room 40, the foundation of the maze. Ooh. Interesting. Look at these little symbols up here. Okay. Deep underground, stones had been carved and fitted. Passages opened in the natural rock. These symbols are quite unusual, said one. They seem to be primitive signs. Do you know what signs? I asked him. Oh, you know, wind and water, hills and planets. It was surprising that he could identify any of the symbols, but I was relieved that he couldn't read them correctly. Choosing more or less at random, they went through another passage. Okay. So again, 38, that's where we've come from. Yeah, we came from 38. So there's 11 and 6, and who knows what these symbols mean. I have no idea what they are. That's uh, my cat eating food. <laughs> uh, hashtag eating sounds, ASMR, toads relaxing. Okay, let's just go to 11. I don't think we've gone to that room yet. Okay. Yeah, this is a new room. Okay. Okay. An airy room with many doors. It was a big space. But I still felt crowded. I always hated confinement. Whatever you do, I warned them, don't touch that. This must be an important room, said one of them. It has more doors than any of the others. This was not true, but I didn't want to interrupt. With so many paths crossing here, we must be close to the center, she continued. I had noticed this guess before. I would have to be careful. This is an important choice, I said, trying to encourage them. Okay. Uh, don't touch that. Don't touch this bell. <laughs> it's too bad it's not really like that interactive. Otherwise, that would be the first thing I did. I would go straight for it. <laughs> Tell me not to touch something. I'm all over it. Okay. Um, so 40 is what we just came from. The only other option we have is 24. Yeah, that's the only other option. So there's really not much to think about, honestly. Okay, let's just do 24. It's saying this is an important choice. Which, if you... You would think there's only one choice. The room you haven't gone in yet. But he's really emphasizing the fact that there's a choice. If you're like, assuming that you should just keep going into rooms you haven't gone into, then... Then that, there wouldn't really be a choice. I don't know, maybe we should go back to 40. Let's just go to 24, because I want to see what happens. <laughs> I think we made the wrong choice. <laughs> a place of unlimited darkness. Where are the doors? They asked nervously. We can't see any doors. Be careful where you step, said a cold voice. This spot is taken. Dozens of eyes blinked at us in the stygian gloom. By the time my uncertain visitors turned to ask me what to do, 
I was already far away. There are no doors, said the voice. You are here with the rest of us now. Even my bellowing laughter couldn't fill this space. Oh my god, that's so creepy. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we'll have to continue our adventure next time. Maybe we'll check try and take some new paths. Hopefully we won't end up back in room 24. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining me guys. It's always awesome hanging out with you and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!